That is now the seventh police officer I've seen. Two brand new Tahoes went by also. All right, all right. Drive shaft. She got the carrier brick. Ooh, all dirty. Drive shaft complete. Back to tarpon. We're actually strapped. And uh, that's what actually moves up and down and pushes on the spring. Um, those head bolts are probably one of the hardest things I've ever had to get out. And a JB hook. Oh, that was nice of you. 19765. So that is a wrap. What do you think? You good? Every state is probably going to be different. You feeling any better this morning, big boy? I know. A little bit? Good. Keep resting, okay? Do you need another water? Yeah. Okay, I'll bring you two more. I love you. Where's Kason? I heard him playing with you guys. Huh? Oh, there he is. Harvey was trying to attack me. <laughs> Go figure, he tried yeah. to attack Tiki. Well, I was under the blanket, he was literally His bite, jumping, jumping, jumping on you? Ah, sounds a little bit like Murphy. He was biting me. Oh, let me get Cash some waters. Yeah. You're crazy, Murphy. Yeah, You're crazy, yeah, Murphy. I you. You're crazy, yeah. Murphy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, don't fall off the couch. <laughs> take it, take it. I'm not going to school today. Oh, oh take it, take it. Yeah, you're getting a little sick too, so we're going to keep you both home and get you better. Because if you don't get 100% better, we can't go visit family because we don't want to get them sick. Okay, so mom, give me some medicine when she gets uh, down from the, her shower. Yeah. Boy, is going through some water. My goodness. <laughs> so give me two more. Yeah, bro, look at that. Bro, bro, bro. I'm going to change my truck to it. I want it, I want it too. He's dead. All right. It's the monster truck. Well, they're playing. I think I'm going to bring these along today. Um, new brake releases. And I'll grab a water myself. All right. Yeah, yeah. Whoops. Maybe you guys are going to bring it with me. I don't know what color I'm going to use, though, for trailer and for tractor, because the red's not really the, it's a dark red. I need a lighter red. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's go. Don't forget, load boards should be free. Check out Truck Smarter. Hi, Boots. I heard you. You want to go inside? Come on. Ah. Oh. out here. Come on, let's go inside. Early morning. Let's get this girl fired up. Okay. <coughs> okay, we'll let her warm it up. Well then, we have our little pool ball here. There you go. Let's uh, go to defrost. Okay, works hopefully. Turn our windshield wipers on. Come on. Look at that new windshield wiper. Thanks for all the comments on the. Uh, there's like a adapter that they said you can get rid of that little one right there and have one of the old school or the new school ones that works. But right now we're focused on these. Let's change these. I think I'm gonna go black and silver because the blue doesn't really match anything except that charger <laughs> and the red is too dark to match the steering wheel so we'll go black and silver we'll go silver for the truck and black for the trailer let's do it so there you go tractor and trailer so they just spin on guys spin them off spin them on and you are good and then you can just pull on them and push it back in. Okay, I like it. We're coming along for the old cabin. And these just spin off, guys. Ooh, that's, that's some, some glue in there or something. Ooh, just spin them. And then you're left with that. With threads, be careful because they are plastic. So, there you go. 
We are ready to go. Do you like my uh, cassette tape? Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's go. It's supposed to rain all day. Uh, I did not catch the temperature in the truck. I should have. Uh, my Dodge. Come on, find a gear. There you go. But I think it's in the 50s, high 50s probably. Not too cold, just just rainy, just wet, but not heavy rain, just light mist, just sprinkles. But that makes it slippery at the dump, so I'm glad we have a little mule because <laughs> W9 really slipped at the dump. A little mule still slips, but not as bad. Let's make our first one though, go get another one, and then uh, probably get one more to have ready for tomorrow morning, and that's it. We're, after Wednesday, we are done. So after the holiday, we should have a little bit more. Um, I'm gonna roll my window down. My defrost doesn't really get this window that great. Got three cars coming this way. I don't see any headlights after that. From the right, we see nothing. Oh, no, no, we got something coming. Here we go. We got somebody pulling. It's like one of those uh, arms attached. That's a pretty cool truck. Uh, is he turning? That truck's turning. The minivan's coming. Okay. The JB Hunt container truck just got on the auto ramp. We got our window. Let's go. Sorry about the hissing, but thanks so much for all the comments on the fitting. Uh, I'll have to go to Truck Pro and get one of those. T Dub should be getting her wheel back today. They found a little tiny pinhole in the sidewall. So not only did that rim crack, that the sidewall had a tiny leak in it, so I had to get a new tire. So I had to order that and it came in last late last yesterday afternoon. Hopefully they can pull that tire on today and we can get going. Uh oh, we're starting to squeak on our windshield. Uh -oh. <laughs> Alright, let's get this one off the truck and pray for not too much slippage at the dump. Made it to the four-way stop. Uh, I've never really been this late to, not late, but like later in the day, in the morning to the dump, so I don't know what to expect for uh, the line, but that guy just went, so he's obviously coming back. I just hope that not too many guys are under round two, and it's packed, you know. We will see. We're almost there, though. Oh, yeah. Extra sloppy today, guys. Woohoo! We have the mud. Good thing we got brand new tires with open shoulders, so we can get some of the traction going up. But you really have to get a running start. And W9 barely got back under the trailer when it was empty. Um, so, woo. let's get up here and get a little sloppy. Got this guy over here to the right. I don't know if he's just taking a different angle or what he's doing. And I got the trash truck coming next to me. But uh, I'm going to stick back here and kind of wait for him to make his turn. And then, uh, We'll probably go where that red truck is. Oh, the new buttons are awesome. It's okay. Let's get out and get our, our tarp off and get our safety latches open and then see where we're going. But that left one with the little cat caterpillar engine on it, that one that's going up right now, the white one, that one is uh, not very, it's very slippery. <laughs> I need to clean out the dirt in between the, the ruts because your tires can't grab. So, all right, let's see what happens. Sloppy at the dump. Well, it looks like he might get red because uh, he's pulling out first. Our dog's out here too, he's hanging out. Yeah, he's gonna go for that one. So we're gonna have Slippery. Let's see how this goes. There's that 990. Taking a different route to back it up, I get it. That's the, the uh, new W9 headlights there. I'm not a, not a huge fan of that stuff. Looks kind of like a squinting praying mantis, I don't know. I like the old school W9 looking. This guy's out here, he's backing up. Let's get in position. Got some steamy, uh... Those buttons are so much easier and nicer to push. I don't know why they don't make them that way from the factory. They're just nice and make your palm feel good. Oh yeah. Tarp is open, latches are off. He should be pulling, I'll probably wait for him to pull out before I turn around, because he's probably almost ready. Their fifth wheel, or their uh, landing gear doesn't need to be pulled up. They like lower it themselves. It's a lot quicker for them to take off. I have to wind in my landing gear every time. Oh yeah. 
got the music back in there. Let's see. There you go. You just got. See how he just slipped his tires? He just spun his tires trying to get under his trailer. Oh yeah. He's off. Uh, go ahead, buddy. All right, our turn. We have quite the line coming up now. Those two guys are out of here. We're gonna pack up. Hope our tires don't spin too much. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, spin it. Got to get a right start. We'll do power divider. Locks in all four. And we're in. Yes. All right. Power divider that. Tractor set. Let's get out there. It's a dirty job. Woohoo! That's probably why he went the other way. That's that same 990. Um, now he's reweighing to get out. So it means it's his first time here with that truck. Makes sense, makes sense. But I was the same way when I first came here. Both trucks, I had to re-wet. Like I yelled at once for going in backwards like that. I'm like, uh, that's what I thought we were supposed to do. She said, go all the way out, turn around. I'm like, uh, it's like way down the road. <laughs> Definitely glad we got little mule though, because he does the dirty work. W9 would not be happy again through here. All right, so let's go get our paperwork done. Where is it? Oh, there it is. I asked him inside, I was like, does the dog have a name? They said, we call him Brownie. I don't have any meat sticks for you today. No meat sticks. I know. I'll get them tomorrow, though. That thing sounds good. See, he has a straight pipe. He's my FLD twin. I might have to get a straight pipe like him. I'll see you in a little bit, Brownie. Where'd he go? He's out. He let me pet him the other day. Guess he's just looking for food this morning. Yeah, that's my FLD buddy. Let's go, FLD. Well, we just got a little bit of bad news. Um, the production's down again. They, the generator, they have to have generators to run their all their equipment out there. And one of them went down with like a motor mount issue, and so they had another one delivered. It was their rentals, their uh, United rentals. So they have another one delivered, but that one just uh, turned off and won't start back up. So that's a nice generator I saw up there. One of those bumper pole, like big boy, uh, I don't know, 10, 12 feet long. Uh, but yeah, I think just shut off on them so they cannot produce any more stuff. They said they have one almost full and the one just got picked up by my buddy. So that leaves us kind of just limbo mode. I said, should I head up there? They're like, we're waiting for United Rentals to call us back. So I said, okay, no worries. But while I was doing that, I kind of just looked through um, Truck Smarter and I'll look through again right here. It's an old Tundra. I used to love that truck. I had a couple of those Tundras. Still love that truck. Don't need any fuel. We're still half tanks. Um, but yeah, we'll check out trucks motor, check out loads. But I did look at a load where I was sitting there to dump, and we'll see if they counter offer anything on it. But it's going to Jacksonville, and um, it might be it's tomorrow delivery, so we might be able to do that with the W9 if they're uh, down right now for this. Plus, we have a new guy that's or another guy that's kind of helping out in this, so they don't really need me. They can cover the loads, but we're kind of trying to space them out so I could take that one and just let him have uh, his fair share. All right, we'll check it. We'll see what trucks motor has, and they have a new feature, guys, that they just. Uh, emailed me or texted me on. Make sure you get the notifications from them. They'll send you all the new updates and stuff. So they just sent me an update about a new feature, which is pretty cool that uh, I wish other trucking load boards did. So let's check it out. All right, all right, all right. Well, oh, jump on down. She is dirty. Woo. Gotta get some fenders on her, I know. Thank you so much for those comments too. So Coyote came back and said, um, <clears throat> no thanks, he said declined, but it was on Truck Smart for 900. So I said, okay, maybe. And uh, then, but no, went to their app decline. So they're still in the same game. But uh, Truck Smarter, if you look right here, they have a new thing. If you go to your factoring tab in there, it's all free, guys. The app is 100% free. Go to factoring tab, hit banking, and then in the middle, you'll see a new little uh, spending insights. Really cool. It's kind of like QuickBooks for um, your trucking. So you can fuel your tolls, all your expenditures, your food, your lodging, it's really awesome. And it categorizes for you, and it also keeps track of all your stuff you factored. So it's a one-stop shop. Why wouldn't you factor with them at 2.5% and then have your QuickBooks integrated in it for free? That's pretty dang cool. So 2.5% and a free load board. Can't beat it. Nobody else out there is even close. So we'll, we'll see what uh, happens up here if we're getting another load. We have to get that trailer back there. I don't know what we're doing, but we'll also see if Coyote's going to uh, come around and Give me 13, 14 her for that. I'll go run that tonight. Okay, we're freshened up and no word from uh, production. So 
Walmart's hanging out, and so is Egg Farms. Eggs are a hot commodity, and that guy, oh, got all tagged up. My goodness, I can't even read that. Let's uh, get back towards the house and maybe go with T-Dubs to do something. So we are gonna hold the pattern here. Uh, T-Dub's tire for her Escalade is finally done. <laughs> so we're gonna go pick that thing up and figure it out to help her. And then we'll just wait for the call to see if we're gonna go ahead and uh, have another load. No, get in, please, buddy. Put your seatbelts back on. Kaka, yeah. go sit down. Yes, it is raining like crazy. I like your outfit. All right, let's go get a wheel. Before we go get her wheel though, I had to make some room. I forgot we bought a washer last night off a neighbor that's moving. The lake house has a, who knows how old washer. This one's a pretty nice, like $500 Ken, Kenmore. Uh, we got it for $50. <laughs> so I said, we'll take it. It fixed the flag. Well, that's better. All right, so let's go get this uh, wheel and put it on. So T-Dub's gonna have her Escalade back. Wheelhouse uh, wheel repair. <laughs> five two five 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 one zero zero. Oh, we got dogs. <laughs> Smell the powder coat in the paint. There she is. I love it. Thanks. You guys are uh, innovative wheel solutions. I brought my twenty sixes to them. There you go. How you doing, guys? Thanks for getting that wheel done for me. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> Let's get that wheel on Mama's car. Guess what? T-Dubs is back in action, guys. Gotta get that whiteness off the <laughs> side of the tire, but yeah, yeah. We have an Escalade again. How are you feeling, buddy? You look better? I'm gonna take your brothers to the playground at McDonald's. Do you want me to bring you back nuggets or no? Yep. Yep, gotta bring you nuggets. Love you. McDonald's, the only one with the playground still. You ready? Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, I know why. All right, McDonald's. And the no. wheel is holding up just fine. Little test drive. All right, we just got the, just got the call that, um, <laughs> using a foot cleaner. Yeah. <laughs> just got the call that the production's back up, so they'll be ready in about an hour and a half, so that's perfect timing. Cash some nuggets, because he's been throwing up, because he hasn't had anything in his stomach, and he's, um, Take all that medicine, so if, he's, if he can eat some nuggets, then awesome. And these guys, of course, oh, fries. fries and cheeseburger or nuggets. Uh, cheeseburger. Okay, put your shoes in the cubby, please. Thank you. All right, did she? It's, it's medicine, buddy. Of course, it's gross. I, know. I feel like throwing up because of it. Okay, well, if you eat food, you won't throw up because you need some stuff in your stomach. So come on. Mm -hmm. oh, my goodness. Give me my shoe, please. Oh, my. Oh, you got both of them over here? What are you, a shoe hoarder? You little crazy dog. Oh, it's a crazy, crazy dog. Tiki, tell him to stop taking my shoes. Jeez. <coughs> I gotta go back to work. Yeah, you get them, Tiggs. Love you, Mama. Enjoy your mommy mobile back. Oh yeah, the one mini fan. I look, Red Wheels is mine. Where's the open on this side? You're tired. Let's fire the dirty girl up. Go get another one. I'm glad that they're back in production. I'm glad that she's back rolling. Oh yeah. Bye bye. And we are back just said, hey, you're uh, ready to go. I think I should pick up that trash that's out there. It's been there for a week. I can just throw it in the back of the trailer and it'll go to the dump. Uh-oh, uh find another gear. Let's go back down here. There you go. That's a good gear. Um, we're not going to get it into the dump today, but we will have it ready for tomorrow. Hopefully we can get to tomorrow if their production stays up. Then we'll be able to get two and then we'll be shutting it down for the holiday. Lots of rain up here. Lots of rain. All right, I'm throwing the four ways on. I've been seeing this uh, bag of trash out here for the last, I don't know, um, week. Right there, and there's a Sphinx cup over here. So with our tarp closed, we'll probably open it a little bit and throw that uh, trash in there. It's just so pretty out here. I uh, found a bunch of other trash too. Beer cans everywhere. I always try to pick up some trash. So. <laughs> uh, but this one... They just said, hey, let's throw it out right here on the side of the road. 
No go. Let's pick it up, get that tarp open, put it in there. Might as well grab the mug root beer while we're at it. Because, hey, we're going to the dump anyway. Let's get that Sphinx cup. Always bothers me. Way right there. Tarp open. Let's throw them in there. Oh, dropped a couple, but hey, we'll make it. Hey! There you go. It's going to dump anyways. Come on, guys. No need for trash. Hey. All right. <laughs> See this pink cup every time. Oh, man. That's the last one. Let's go. Did a little bit of a good deed for the day. So they can ask for it. Now let's go get a new fitting. Uh, thanks. Big shout out to a buddy of my buddies named Jack. He said, hey, go to this. I think it's called Campbell and Brown. Uh, let's see what time it is right now. Almost 3 o'clock, so this should still be open. So we're going to take a little detour on the way home to stop that low side from hissing. He has a pink FLD, my buddy tells me. Just exactly like this one. So if you see him out there, tell Jack thank you to stop the hissing. So we're taking a different route home. Um, right down the left, that is the Furman Golf Course, Furman University. It's the, I think the longest yardage golf course in the nation, or top three, I forget what it is, but it's crazy. So a lot of golfers go there to get tested um, for their skills on a scholarship. But real nice course, I believe it's private, I'm not sure. But that's Furman University, the backside. We're gonna go down, this is called Highway 25. Um, takes us to the other side of Greenville. And that's where we need to go to get the brass fitting to stop this hissing on the low side when we're changing our gears. You might've heard it in the last two videos, but that is very annoying. It makes me think there's an air leak and then I'm like, oh no, it's just my low side gear shifter that has a tiny little um, brass fitting set, like screw on your fingers that, um, goes over the airline so we'll get that in there we'll get it taken out i think it's an eight millimeter or i forget what size it is to get it off the actual shifter but we will get that fixed hopefully in the next hour just had two police officers go flying by us and another one just came off a of side street so there's three of them up there so hope nothing bad happened on this road that gets us stuck but i pray for whoever's involved mm -hmm. to uh be okay so we're about six miles from uh the, I don't know what this place is. It looks like just from a couple photos, they have a lot of odds and end fittings and truck parts. I don't know, but we're about to find out. Campbell and Brown, supposedly from Jack, they had the piece that he needed. He had the same problem. So I guess these things break over 24 years. Uh, Cause it's, it's like a press fitting, but the bottom part that presses the airline into the fitting that goes into the shifter, it's like spin on. You just spin it with your fingers. But when I was tightening it, that fitting uh just decided to there goes another police officer so that's four uh fitting just decided to let go and go ahead and take the bottom of that whole brass fitting with it i was like ah so i was stuck only way i could get um in the low side was holding it up against it and that was not going to work so i had to think of something else spar diesel did let me take one off of one of their um uh out commission trucks and i appreciate that so much and that's what we're using right now but i just flared out that tiny line pressed it over uh, the inside of what would have been the quick connect fit, quick connect fitting. So it's working, but it is hissing. So we're gonna get that fixed, hopefully. That is now the seventh police officer I've seen. Two brand new Tahoes go by also. Didn't go in second gear, but man, that is a lot of uh, presence right there. So I wonder what's going on. Praise for the best. There is the Kenworth, uh, I don't know if it's a dealership or just a parts store. I think it is a dealership, but um, I think it's called Worldwide is what they go by. And then up here you can see all the police presence. So T's and P's, I hope it's not a, let's find another gear. That was too low, too high. There we go. Yeah, it's something going on right here. That's a good place to get parts. So that Kenworth place, not too bad. They have a lot of stuff in stock. But we're big fans of the 12.7 now also. Love our Cummins, but 12.7's for sure uh, way less expensive to repair. Less, the parts are less expensive. Okay, well, whatever happened, what happened at the fuel station. This is actually the fuel station that I first had to put in my head to become a truck driver. The guy parked his truck right there with those uh, four white trailers on, dry vans. And he um, 
I took him home. I was Uber driving. Took him home to. What is going on right here? <laughs> His house. And what is going on? Uh, we got a bunch of people on the side of the road over here. Well, find a new gear. People like in the woods. I don't know what happened. People down there. Maybe he was running. Tried to. I don't know, rob that place or something? Let me know what you know about that. There's a bunch of police down there at that shop. All right, he's in peace. Something happened. But that is actually the field station right there that I first had to put in my head to become a truck driver. And then I went to CDL school right down here at Greenville Tech, at the Donaldson Center. Yeah, 2018, February 2018 is the first time I ever stepped foot in a semi-truck. Did not even know they had air brakes. Knew nothing about them. Yeah, T's and P's, whatever's going on there, but it looks like they have somebody in custody or surrounded them, so. All right, hope they uh, have a better holiday. So I pulled into Fleet Pride because they have a little turnaround right here, um, but right behind us is where we need to go, so. Thank you very much, Fleet Pride, for the parking. Place to my left, looks like it's been out of business for a little bit. We'll grab our wallet and go check this out. Yeah, I don't know if they're still doing business, but over here is where we need to go. If you've never heard of Fleet Pride though, Fleet Pride and Truck Pro are kind of like your AutoZone, O'Reilly, advanced auto parts of trucking. So, Truck Pro back there. Sorry. Back over there. And then there's another place that used to be called uh, Carolina Spring and uh, Alignment. They're actually the ones that did my uh, leaf springs on my Volvo because I had a crack in them. My Volvo was kind of sitting like that because the leaf spring was letting go. Dangerous. So, I got that replaced there. It's like, 1200 bucks, something like that, for them to do it, plus the parts. Um, but yeah, these are the places you want to come, especially just find Truck Pro and Fleet Ride in your area if you're doing trucking and you need truck parts. But Campbell and Brown, over here, heavy duty parts distributors. Okay. Let's go. Thanks a lot, Jack. Not the best sign, but. And then that doesn't, it says engineering tomorrow. I don't know what that means, but yeah, kind of hard to find. Just go to Fleet Pride and go right next door. Definitely the air fittings place. This is what I got from my airline I just fixed. tiny one like this but that's what we have and even tinier we have all kinds of lights too guys like everything so doot, doot, that one doesn't have power to it but all kinds of stuff no, the only style we got. no worries okay so a little guy right down there that's the one guys thank you so much Jack uh, yeah, it's kind of hard to find it, but if you watch this video, it's right down from Penske's right there. What's up, Avery? <laughs> Penske's right down there. Um, and the Fleet Pride's right next door, so lots of brass things. I got four more of those uh, 3H ones that we had to replace the other day over the transmission. I'll give uh, give three of them back to Spar because I took one of theirs. And then I keep one in the truck for a spare. But All right. There's, oh, yeah, $6. $6 per... The little tiny one is $6 for the big one, so we're good. Let's get home. And my goodness, guys, it doesn't look like much, but you can tell that little inside diameter of that little one is a little bit smaller than this one, and it fit right on. So it's quick connect now. It's tight. Thank you so much. Let's get that hiss gone. Yes, no more hissing. I love it. Put it back together. We're good to go. Love it. Thank you again, Fleet Pride, for the turnaround. And we are in the low side right now, guys, with zero hissing. I love it. All right, we'll take a ride out of here. Got a wide open lane and get over here. And the first truck we ever bought was over here on the left. Um, my Volvo I bought was at Ryder Truck Sales, which is up here on the left. Alright, let's keep going. Let's get back home.
Speaking of rider, there it is right there on the left. Lots of white day cabs, Cascadias, lots of Cascadias. And a couple sleepers behind them, all mostly Cascadias. Internationals and Cascadias, a lot. And the ones, if you see the black trucks with the gold stripe, that's a club car. They have an account with them. It's a golf cart place in Augusta. That's where my Volvo came out of. It had an APU on it at 600 and 627,000 miles, 677, something like that. Last to be good, got me to 800 and like 828, and boom, motor went bye-bye. So, dropped the liner and rebuilt it, and still going strong today. And now we got a W9 and a Detroit. Got a bit foggy out here. Okay, okay. Good old Ram is chilling, waiting for it to take us home. We had a nice walk yesterday, though, but... Uh, we're going to cruise in style today, maybe play a little music, enjoy that beautiful truck. I'm very blessed to have that truck. I did buy that truck used for $40,000 um, back in uh, 2021, I don't know, 2020, I don't know when I bought that truck. But I've never bought a new car in my life, guys. That's kind of, um, I just never thought I didn't want that depreciation. I mean, that'd be cool to have like a brand new GT500 or something for like, Sentiment of value, but I've never bought a new car. I've always bought used stuff, stuff that other people have already put money into. Kind of like that truck. And uh, same thing with my red truck that I have at the lake. I bought that one back. That was my truck in Arizona. If you don't know that story, it's kind of crazy. But I actually had the opportunity to buy it back uh, from a guy in Atlanta who was a police officer. That was awesome. So we got that one back. Uh, but we have that one too, and, and we own all this stuff. And, and that helps a lot with the kind of way the economy is going right now. I watched a little bit of compilations here and there about like just the cost of living and how hard it is for a lot of people right now. And it's hard for us too. I mean, sure we have two sources of income, but T-Dubs doesn't work. She does save us a lot on daycare with taking a stand home a tank. Um, but it's hard right now for everybody. Even, even us, we kind of cut back on some stuff. We are gonna probably try to go on this Disney World vacation with um, Kylan, because we have other boys and I kind of want them all to have the same experience. But uh, it's something that's kind of like, eh, iffy. And especially the time of year that Colin's birthday is, is right when everybody's on vacation for like Christmas break and stuff. So it's, it's more expensive than it was when we went with cash and case and because they, uh, their birthdays are in the fall. So yeah, a little rant there, but uh, yeah, just my truck. I'm very grateful for everything we have and I've worked hard to keep it running. You know, you can fix your own stuff if you can, do your own transmission if you can, save money where you can, so. T-Dub's wheel, a little expensive. That was about $350 today because uh, we had to get a new tire. It had a pinhole in it, so that's taken care of, though. Uh, and those wheels went up. They were $1,200 when I bought them, like $1,299 maybe, maybe like $1,250. And now they're $2,000, like $2,100. So I'm like, Whew. everything's going up. We've got some more fittings for Spar. Give those to them. Get this receipt to file away for taxes. But yeah, check out that Truck Smarter thing. Like, you can submit this to Truck Smarter and keep it as an expense. And, and uh, take a picture of it and they will keep all that for you. So it's like QuickBooks um, integrated with your Truck Smarter account. So it's pretty dang cool. Get the keys, get some of our tools, but no more hiss. We're low side right now, high side, low side. Thank you so much, Jack, once again. I'm gonna shut this thing down. We got one more day of work tomorrow and then it's off for some family for Thanksgiving. So a couple guys have any questions about the giveaway, 400 bucks we'll be giving away thanks to safetyoutprep.com. T-Dubs will talk about that in a second after I finish this little clip. We're thinking 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you're on the West Coast, it'll be noon. Um, we'll do that the day after Thanksgiving on Friday, Black Friday. So if you're not shopping, if you have time to, we're working, you can tune in for a second. We'll do it 3 p.m. sharp on the dot, uh, Eastern Standard Time. And uh, we'll love to hang out with you guys. We'll probably be live for about 30 minutes, let people get in there, and then we'll do the giveaway. So appreciate all you guys for knowing the keywords. If you know them, if you don't, there's five of them that are out. They've been dropped since about October, middle of October, I think October 14th was when we started this new giveaway. And then from then on to here, I've dropped a keyword in a couple of videos, not live feeds, just videos. I'll drop them here and there. And uh, the last one was dropped, I think two days ago, a little hint for you. And here's T-Dubs to tell you a little bit more about it. And uh, thank you so much, safetyoutofprep.com. We appreciate everything you do. Guys, we are doing another giveaway. We're calling it 400 for Thanksgiving. This is gonna be sponsored by safetyouditprep.com. Be in our live on November 24th, the day after Thanksgiving, and look for those five keywords. I'm glad I walked home yesterday, not today. It is gloomy. Gloomy, gloomy. But hey, let's get home, get warm. Probably get in the hot tub. See if cash is feeling a little bit better. 
edit this video and uh, do it one more time tomorrow, guys. I pray that you guys are all going to be able to see some family, have some loved ones around, and thank God for everything we, we still have in this world. If we have our health, if we have our house and something over our head to keep warm, that's a, that's a grateful thing to be grateful for. So just think of all the other countries out there that some people just don't have that great. I can barely see this guy walking across the street right here. It's all dark and he's got a dog. <laughs> now I can see him, but man, for a second I could not. <laughs> there you go. All right, let's get home. There's like a light show in the backyard. I just think it's a little too chilly tonight to go. Maybe we'll do it next week or when we come home on Saturday or Sunday. Who knows? Look at that, the lights on the bottom started working again. That means we got to loose ground or something somewhere. Ah, but hey, they're working right now. <laughs> I'll have to move the minivan over because when it's wet, this is all soggy because the water runs to the drain and it'll leave some marks. So, might put that thing in the air. Uh, I don't think I'll put that thing in the air tonight. Probably hang out with these crazies. And then uh, we're going to do a fuel filter because a lot of you guys are commenting that might be the problem too. Fuel filter and the transmission will pull it down. Probably do that in the same video. But we have this to deal with. Oh goodness. I can hear you from out the driveway, you crazies. Can we go to the park? It's freezing cold. I want to go to the park. No. We can go in the hot tub with me if you want. Scooby snacks, is that what you said? No, we can go. Look how cold it is outside. Have you been outside lately? Kate, Kylan, or not Kylan. Tiki, calm it down. Right Shh, what are you guys watching? A bug's life? Yeah, man. Oh, man. God, 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 goodness. Goodness, 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 goodness. Okay, hey, hey. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to hold you because otherwise you're going to bark at me the whole time. Ah, oh, it smells good in here. What did you cook? Ooh. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. I love Why are they crazy? Why are they insane? So yeah, these happy, yeah, these two are. used to like butt heads and not get along, but now they're like becoming no! two, two idiot best friends. <laughs> the cast is just like whatever. Has yeah, he feeling any better? No! Oh, sh what? Is he feeling any better? So did you build this? Yeah. Wow. Oh, okay. Looks like we have a, a cone up top. We've got an intake blower. Oh! Goodness. All right, well, I'm gonna go say hi to Cash, see how he's doing. Well, these two guys. I want you Shh, guys. Oh my goodness. I didn't even see you over here, dude. How you feeling, a little bit better? Your throat not hurt? A little bit, were your nuggets good? You kept them down? Did you like your nuggets? Did you like your fries? Yes? Or no? I'm gonna punch you. You wanna punch me? Oh, you see, so you're feeling strong enough to get me. You want to battle soon? Yeah. What? Smash Brothers. Smash Brothers. I'll play you later. Want to play? Down here, upstairs. You feel better though, a little bit. No. Okay. Upstairs. Okay, upstairs we'll play. All right, but on that note, guys, I'm gonna battle Cash and Smash Brothers later, and I'm gonna go edit this video in a hot tub. But we got thanks for coming on. We'll get a couple loads in tomorrow. I'm praying production stays on because their generator died again as I was leaving. But we will see you on the next one. On the next one.